Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm gonna just explain how you can uh, deploy a very simple uh, smart contract on uh, Ganache with uh, Truffle. For this I'm following uh, the following uh, tutorial. So to say um, I don't know much yet about smart contract, I'm just gonna try to apply a simple uh, tutorial in order to explain uh, what I understood. So to say I do not expect that much uh, from this tutorial, I'm just gonna uh, do my best to explain it thanks to this uh, given tutorial that I found on the internet. So in fact, uh, the first thing to, to know is that uh, you should have uh, Ganache installed. Also Ganache is uh, the following software that I'm showing you. Here is the Ganache graphical user interface, which is automatically setting on your local server or private blockchain with a different account. And uh, what we're gonna do right now is how you can deploy a smart contract in order uh, to get transaction uh, over here and, and blocks as well uh, over there. Uh, not that uh, in this tutorial, I'm just not gonna talk about this given part uh, because I don't know yet how to uh, link the contract part uh, with the GUI part of, um, of Ganache. But in any case, it will uh, show you how you can uh, deploy your smart contract and uh, have it uh, over here and over here, thanks uh, to what we call Truffle and Truffle is um, what we call an IDE, so to say a framework in order to deploy a smart contract. So let's get started. Uh, here what we're going to do is that uh, we are going to export uh, the following project uh, from GitHub. Uh, what this project is doing, uh, this project is giving you all those files which includes already uh, two smart contracts which have been designed, uh, one being in fact uh, helping uh, the second one to be uh, to be deployed. Uh, the contract that we're going to play with is not incredible. That's the following one, but that's uh, enough in order to get started. And what it's doing is that uh, telling you the status of uh, we don't know yet if it's an individual or organization, but just uh, giving you a, a given status. And then every time that you change this given status, it's going to um, register a transaction within a within the blockchain. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing first is about uh, copying, in fact, uh, everything that we have um, here. So I'm just gonna, uh, maybe I'm just gonna clean this mess that I created. I'm just gonna, uh, just gonna remove this given, Okay, command not found. Okay, sudo rm and that was. Okay, all good. So now I can create a directory, which is gonna be my directory in which I will include this given file. So here I do a git clone, and what's gonna do is it's gonna export all the information which are about this given project, and that's. Uh, typically what uh, what we can see here. Okay, so we just downloaded the different uh, elements that uh, we have here. Okay, next, uh, this is about, so we don't need this part because we are using the Ganache graphical user interface. Okay, um, once uh, you are here, what you need to do is, uh, so you can run Truffle test, but normally it's not gonna work because so far this given file, the one that you can see over here, truffle.js, is the one of the configuration of uh, the, let's say, the, uh, the development uh, framework. And it has not, in fact, uh, the right uh, credential here, or at least it's not plugged on the network on which I'm using my blockchain. So here, this is my blockchain. And if I look over here, I can definitely see that um, the information dealing with my server are not the right one. So to say, if I perform over here my truffle test, it should not work. It should not tell me uh, that I get the network fine. Truffle test, something went wrong, la 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 la. Okay, so to say here, it's telling me that the network is not right, uh, which is 100% correct. So in order to fix that out, I'm just gonna change the truffle.js like this. So here it needs the correct port, which is this one. And here it needs to have the right network ID, which is the following. So at this step now, if I perform my truffle test, it's gonna tell me, okay, 
uh, the network is fine and you can start in fact to create your smart contract in order to deploy them on your blockchain over here. Uh, that's kind of funny here because the contract have been already deployed. Okay, well, that's going to be less work for me. Uh, so in fact, um, compiled successfully, so on and so forth, should return the current status, should return the current status to passing. Well, I have the feeling that in fact, uh, everything has been uh, deployed already here. Uh, so it means that I can already start to interact with uh, the blockchain. How to compile and deploy a smart contract? As I just said, I have the feeling that it just uh, did it. Um, in order to do so, I'm just gonna use straight away the Truffle console. So the Truffle console is here in order to interact with my uh, smart contract. And uh, the idea of those lines of code, uh, which are here in order to interact with the smart contract, are here in order to change the current status of uh, the smart contract in order to show that uh, new transactions are going to be recorded. So let's uh, get started. So we go over here and we just write truffle, truffle console theme. It's going to enter within uh, the truffle console in which I can start to, let's say, uh, give order to my uh, to my smart contract. So um, I'm a bit lazy here. I'm just going to go over here and copy and paste those. So here, this is just creating a variable in order to interact with the smart contract. So here it's telling me my status is not defined. Okay, so probably that's because the smart contract has finally not been deployed, which is a good thing, which justifies the fact that I should have done a truffle compile and a truffle migrate. So let's go for it. Uh, truffle migrate. So here it's gonna, oops, I think I should have done a truffle compile instead, but um, well, maybe it has done both. Okay, so here I got my two smart contracts, in fact, uh, deployed on the blockchain. So I have no idea what the other five uh, were doing, but here I guess they are. Okay, uh, so now I guess I can finally interact with with the blockchain. So let's go for Truffle console and here I can start to use the given line that I was showing you before, which are let instance tabs this one. So here I'm gonna create the variable and define which is fine. And then I can query and say get the status. Okay, by the way, at this step, what happened is that no additional block have been created because so far I'm not changing anything here. So here, if I say, okay, get the status, it's gonna tell me, okay, buzzy, which correspond to what was within, um, what was within the, the contract. If now I'm gonna change this value by setting something like this, set a variable or set anything else, it's gonna interact with it. So set available and here as you can see by just changing uh, the status and make it to available a uh, transaction occur which is the block number 10 over here just appeared so there are some exchange which have been made so to say that's a it's an empty transaction uh, which of course has a price which correspond to the fees to make the transaction happen but it happened and uh, in fact, I can continue to interact like this with, um, I can put whatever I want over here, uh, free, and I'm gonna create, in fact, uh, I'm gonna create the, the blocks anyway. And that's, uh, that's what I wanted to, to show you. So the fact that uh, with Truffle, you can interact with uh, the smart contract and then uh, write it automatically on the blockchain.